to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow Walk right here on our Dream Leader Draven channel. Oh, God. Well, if you guys watched the last episode, it was a little hilarious for some of you because, yeah, I lost my, I lost my, you know, I lost my cool there. Lost it because, yeah, freaking uh, Articuno would not stay in the freaking Pokeball. Yeah, and I was questioning this. I was wondering, why did Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow have this whole thing where you can only capture a Legendary with a Pokeball? I wonder. It took me five times to try and get that, and then it was using Ice Beam like no other. Freaking Articuno. I hate you. I hate you with a passion. Anywho, let's move on. We're going to Cinnabar Island, and yeah, you guys already know, uh, Hydra is fainted. He's the only Pokemon, he's the odd man out without any kind of revives. So, I'll survive, whatever. Let's move on. Let's use this, and let's go straight to Cinnabar Island, because, you know, we're trying to train our Pokemon to get ready for the next gym battle, which would be in Saffron City. Not only that, but we, we also got issues there, too, with uh, Team Rocket running them up. And here we have another trainer with a tentacle. Me, I got Godzilla Godzilla with a slash attack. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Goodbye. Say goodbye, tentacle. And look at that. Experience levels. Oh yeah. Level 38. I, w I was waiting for that. Okay. So enough about that. Let's move on. We're closer to level 40 as we speak. Let's go with Hydra. Or no, no, not Hydra. Fuck. I mean, with Pikachu. Pikachu. Thunderbolt. I still can't get over the fact that, yeah, Articuno just made the, all my team faint with one attack. And then it was getting critical attacks, critical hits, with the peck attack, which is annoying. Oh, God. I don't think I'll ever get over that stuff. And there we go. Yeah. How does that feel? It feels so good. Draven coming with the revenge. Oh, I am furious. No mercy at all! Heck no! There's no mercy from here on end. That Articuno really pissed, pissed me off. Okay, so we got another trainer. And uh, let's go ahead and switch it. To tank. The Snorlax. Check out my buff physique. Bro, you got a surfer, or you got a swimmer's body. They got no body fat. It's not considered buff. Heck. Not even considered, like, human. Or, yeah, it's considered human, but it's not buff. Okay? Buff is when you're actually working your muscles out, not by swimming. Not working your lungs or anything. Again, I'm having a, you know, I'm having a BF right now because of Articuno. Thanks a lot, Articuno. Ruined my whole mood for the day. And, yeah, you're wimpy. Okay, so, we got another guy here. Let's go. I rode my bird Pokemon here. Well, that ain't that great, I guess. I mean, you're awesome. Not. And here we have the bird keeper. Let's do this. Coming out with this Fero. There's nothing to fear about this guy. I will have him for chicken. Chicken and biscuits. Broccoli. Chicken and gravy. Here we go with the strength attack. And no, you are not fainting. And this guy's gonna use a strength attack on me because of that mirror move. Oh god. That took a lot. That was a critical hit. Well, let's go again. Let's do this. Alrighty. Okay. Alright. And coming out with another Fero, I guess I should go with Ultra Psycho since he did get us out of a little bit of a jam. He always does. That's why he's a good Pokemon. Very good Pokemon. And let's finish him off. Psybeam. How do you like them apples? Yeah. Oh, come on! Oh, you're confused. Okay, that really that really makes me angry. How how is it that my opponents get confused, but don't get hit by a freaking uh by by a recoil? I'm angry about that. I always get that. Jesus, hits on a popsicle stick. I'm gonna destroy you. Oh, he's got some evolved Pokemon. This is a good Pokemon here. This guy is the truth. He knows what he's doing. So, Psybeam for the win. Oh yeah, I do like them apples too. Yeah, that's right. Ultra Psycho. Destroys you. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Indeed. Alright. Let's get the heck out of here. Surf attack. Really wish... Really wish my, um, my Hydra could, uh, you know, battle. This guy's... Or this chick's like, my boyfriend gave me big pearls. Huh. I wonder if that was the real pearls or just, like, any window. I don't know. I don't care. I don't know. And there it is. Shelter coming in. And, uh... Body slam will do it. 
has a very high defense though. And uh, the clamp attack is gonna just get onto us. Ugh. Come on! A water type version of rap. Come on! Come on, tank. You can do this, tank. See, I am a good trainer. I just get angry all the time. Should be called Gym Leader Angry Draven. Shoot. Um, 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 let's go with Thrasher. Yeah, let's do this. No worries. The next two legendary bird Pokemon. Um, I don't think I will have any issues because I have Thrasher here. Thrasher is uh, won't be affected by Zapdos a lot, and Moltres is not really that tough, so. You know, I, I think I have a, a good, a good, uh, good chance against those two Pokemon. Ooh, dang. Okay, so that's very, very high defense. And that was a critical hit. And there's that Aurora Beam that I've been worried about. And that took a lot. And finish him off. Yes, he did. Critical hit for me. And look at that. Experience points go lag. She's like, don't touch my pearls. Um, why would I touch your pearls? Talking about your titties, and okay, alright. I see how it is. You're just throwing up that vibe right there. Alright, I swam here from Cinnabar Island. Oh, that's cool. That's great. That's awesome, bro. That is awesome. Okay, so here we have a junior trainer female wants to fight, and she's sending out her Goldeen. Well, I sent out a Sparky because Sparky's awesome. And it only has three more, like, attack moves. Holy Jesus. Okay, so that's one. We're doing a good job right here. And yeah, she does have a Sea King. Should be able to finish him off right here. There we go. Thunderbolt. There it is. Oh, come on! Really? Here we go. Body Slam. Another victory for us. Heck yes. Alright. So there it is. I'm so disappointed. Yeah, you should be. You had the chance to hurt me, but really you didn't. So I'm gonna have to switch out right here. Don't really have a lot of healing items, uh, thanks to Articuno, and the repels are really worn off. So oh, that's another thank you, Articuno. Okay, what does she want? Cinnabar in Cinnabar in the West has a lab for Pokemon. Oh, that's that's awesome. I didn't know that. I really didn't know that right there. So here we have another beauty, and she's coming out with her Poliwag. I'm coming out with Godzilla because he's the only man with uh, any kind of a HP left. Again, thanks a lot, Arctic Mino, you jerk of a Pokemon. And there we go. Say goodbye to Poliwag. And, uh, oh wow, he's coming out with this, or she's coming out with the Sea King. Let's finish this guy off right here. Supersonic, I swear. One of the most annoying moves right now to me. And there's that Fury attack. Come on! You gotta stop at some point, huh? Alright. Slash attack. We'll do this. There we go. Bye bye. Bye bye. Alright. Okay. She's like, wait! Yeah, right. I'm not gonna wait. Alright. So, I gotta move on right here. Is there any other Pokemon left or Pokemon trainers? Nope! We are finally here in Celadon or Cinnabar Island. As you can see. There's a gym, there's a Pokemart, and there's a Pokemon Center, and believe it or not guys, we're going to do the exploration of everything in Cinnabar Island. I'm not going to go to the gym, we're going to be training. These are side quests before we actually get to the main thing. So, thank you guys for watching, I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Yellow Walkthrough. See you guys.